Hello everyone, I'm Luke Donovan from DS20. I'm going to be showing you how to make a radial bar chart or a starburst chart as it's sometimes called. This chart is a great visual asset to any dashboard. It will certainly grab your reader's eye and leave them astounded at the pleasing aesthetics. Let's jump into Tableau and get started. For this I'm going to be using Sample Superstore. First thing you want to do is union the data upon itself. So grab the same sheet that you're using, which in this case is orders, and you should see a union option when you go and drag it on top of it. So go ahead and drop it in there. And what you've done here is essentially create a copy of your data in the same sheet. Tableau has created two new columns for us, sheet and table name. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see there that it's got orders one. And this means that essentially you've successfully unioned. What you want to do now is mark one of your tables as a start point and the other as the end point. You need to tell Tableau, okay, I want the values that belong in this table to be my starting point and these to be my end point. To do this, you want to create a calculated field called start slash end. So if we go to sheet one and create a calculated field. Now all the syntax I'm using here, I've already pre-written and I'm copying over. So I'll include the syntax you need in the description below. So what this is doing is it's looking at our table name and saying if, if orders, then give it value one, else zero. So for all values that have one, this will be one point and then zero will be the other point. And Tableau will draw a line between the two. So go ahead and click OK. And you want to change that calculation from a measure to a dimension. So go ahead and grab that and put it onto dimension. And you also want to change your chart type to a line and then put your start slash end onto path. Now we need to create two parameters. These are going to tell Tableau where on the axes to start drawing the lines and end drawing the lines. So I'm going to create parameter, call this my inner point and give it the current value of 0.5. Now what these parameters are actually doing is a lot better explained visually. So once I create the radial bar chart, I'll go back into the parameters and show you exactly what they're doing. But for now, call that inner point, give it the value of 0.5 and click OK. Then create a second parameter called outer point and leave it the value as 1. Next what I'm going to do, for ease of use, I'm going to create a field that is simply my measure I want to use to determine the length of the lines, which in this case is sales. So go ahead and create a calculated field, call this my lines field and sales. Press OK. Next up, you need to tell Tableau which angle along the circle it needs to plot each line on. So we have our circular shape, but Tableau has no idea how to actually plot each line in the same circular fashion. And the calculation we're about to do does exactly that. It's going to calculate which angle Tableau needs to plot each line at. So go ahead and create another calculated field and call this angle of line. There you go, calculation done. So click OK. Now we need to make line links and tell Tableau how far away from the center of the circle Tableau should plot the inner and outer points. So create another calculated field, call this one the length of line. Now it took me a while to get my head around what's actually going on with this calculation. So I'll try my best and explain it. What this calculation is doing is actually creating our starting and end points. Think of our parameters as multipliers. We're using our inner point where we want our line to be drawn from and saying if our table name, you know, using our calculation we created earlier. So if table name equals orders, then one else zero. We're saying if our table name is equal to zero here from our first calculated field, then assign the value zero and then add this to our multiplier, which in this case is 0.5. So it's going to start drawing the lines at 0.5. If it's not equal to zero, i.e. one, then it will calculate where to actually finish drawing the line. This is easily explained visually once the chart has been made. And the end function here is just normalizing the lines. So now we need to create two more calculated fields. We need our X and Y axis. We need to calculate the point on the X and Y axis. We want to place the start and ending points. So you can do this for the X axis by using the cos function. So create another calculated field, call this line X. Once you have your syntax written, press OK. Create another calculated field, call this one line Y. And this is very similar, but instead of using cos, we're going to be using sine. There we go, a nice little throwback to trigonometry for you. You can actually breathe a sigh of relief now because that's all the calculations done with. And we can actually start crafting the chart. So grab your X axis or line X, put it onto columns, get line Y, put it onto rows. And at the moment, we just have a straight line. Next, you want to grab whatever dimension you want to split the view up by, i.e. assign each bar to a designated value. Now, this is called a radial bar chart 
but actually what we're doing is drawing lines. So I'm going to be using all the date and specifically each individual day from the data set. So grab all the date and put it onto detail. And at the moment it's showing me discrete years and I want continuous days. So I'm going to scroll down and click day. Now go into each of your X and Y pills and compute using all the date or whatever field you have chosen. So go into line X, compute using all the date, line Y, compute using all the date. And there we go. We have our startings of our radial bar chart. Next up, I want to color depending on the region. So I'm going to drag region onto color. And there we go. We're getting something nice here. A couple of things you might want to do as it's a circle is you want to fix your axes. So I like to fix my axes at minus one and one on both the Y and the X. So that I get my circle in a nice midpoint. Going back to the parameters, if I show you what's actually going on and if I change my inner point, so if I go into edit and I change it from 0 0.5 to 0 0.1, you can see that the circle inside gets smaller, i.e. Tableau is plotting the starting points closer together. So instead of starting the points at 0 0.5, it's now starting them at 0 0.1. I'm going to change that back to 0 0.5 because I like the white space it creates in there. You can put a logo or you can put some extra text, extra information on there, and it's a, it'll create a really nice visual chart for you. And there you go, there is a radial bar chart. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you now feel confident enough to make a radial bar chart yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material you might find helpful, as well as the syntax I used earlier. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love my colleague Erica's video on parallel coordinates, and you can watch it by clicking here.